Welcome to a brief session that will cover working with the elongating from the legs, from your foundation, and also creating some awareness that moves in through the back body, into the muscles along the spine, and working on creating some symmetry. So what we'll need is a small wall space, your mat on the floor, short end to the wall, and a folding chair. I put a blanket on top of my chair so I have a little bit more cushion. So I want you to stand with your back to the wall and have your chair so the seat is facing towards the wall. We're going to set our feet a little wider than hips distance apart, a couple inches away from the wall, and then lean forward so that your seat touches the wall and your arms stretch open onto the chair seat as your hands slide on the seat and your spine gently elongates out of the back of the pelvis. Your brain centers between the arms and you feel where that action is in the legs up into the roots of the sitting bones and then back to the spine. So pause here for a few moments, centering yourself on your breath. Elongate the inhalation. And then exhale, letting the breath leave the body and feeling the shift in your lungs. Now as you Work your feet to press into the floor, bend your knees, and then start to come up so that we're walking ourselves, your feet to the chair seat, and you're going to turn around to sit into the chair. And I want you to place your right foot across to the left knee and lean forward in the chair. So this brings some awareness into your hip and also up into the back of the pelvis. And it's quite a deep stretch for most people in their hip. So can you sense the circulation through the leg into the side of the leg, through the knee, and then up into the hip and the pelvis? Okay, now I lean, but I hold on to the sides of the chair. I hold on to the seat of the chair right now. You could hold on back on the side um, arms of the chair as well. And then you'll come back up, open out through the chest, uncross, lift up the left leg, cross the left ankle to the right knee, and rotate the hip open. Lean forward. The leaning is what helps you sensation filled hip right so you want to find that sensation filled in the hip joint now next time you come up hold the the arms of the chair wherever you can reach down as far down as you can on the chair and center your seat nice and full on the chair so that you can open up and broaden the chest. So working on moving the shoulder blades back and down into the spine and the chest to lift. Now you can do this two ways. You can also hold the seat of the chair, put your arms inside the arms of the chair and use that to reinforce the opening of the chest. Okay, now let's place a block between the knees, narrow. Hold on to that block, keeping the legs pretty even, and then twist to your left, bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee, the left hand back on the chair seat, and feel that rotation through the spine. Connect into the source of support which is your breath 
and feel the ribs motion. Inhalation, exhalation, feel the ribs move. Now come back and center and hold your motion right into the midline. Feel the body in a still point. And turn to the right, right hand back on the chair, left hand to the outside of the right leg and rotate. You're squeezing into the block. This is really important that the block is a source of support to align your spine. Sensing that rotation. Now come back into the center line and try leaning forward and get a feel here when you lean forward with that block between the knees and send your arms forward besides your ears but squeeze into the block. And then we'll remove the block and we'll begin the process of stepping from the seat of the chair to standing up and then turning so that we're facing back to that chair, but now we're in a little bit fuller of a inversion. So we're going to move our seat back to the wall. See if you can progress to lowering your hands closer to the floor, or you can use a chair in the meantime. But eventually you're going to be stepped far enough away from the wall that you can provide yourself support with your seat at the wall so the weight of your head trickles down on the stretch of the spinal column. The ribs expand and contract. You always have the chair to put your hands on if you're not quite sure of the support of the ground. So the hands can go up to the chair. They could also go on top of blocks. Find that ripening sensation in the hamstrings as well as the back muscles. Feel the body connecting to the breath. And then we are going to come into a final inversion. So we'll take our hands up onto the chair seat and what you might do is lower down and you can have an inversion of two different styles right now. You can either put your legs up on the chair, right? You could put your blanket at the wall, kind of a little bit away so your head is comfortable. And relax back with your legs up on the chair arms relaxed open. If you have a sandbag, place it across your rib cage for that circulation advantage into your breathing muscles and to create length in your back, right? Because it creates that pressure to even out the back muscles. And if you would prefer to try a full next level inversion from the legs of the chair, you can take your body, so you would turn, have your blanket to start. So if this is new for you with legs at the wall, I want you to start with a blanket to the wall, not right next to it, but close, and you'll place your head also on a blanket, the other side, you'll sit up on the blanket next to the wall, and you'll slide your arm under and roll 
to swing the legs up the wall with a little bit of height under your pelvis. Blanket under head, sandbag across the rib cage. Equilibrium, right? Equilibrium, equilibrium. And then moving your arms open or if possible to cactus. So feel where the spine senses the balance. So however we come to the final pose of legs up, reversing gravity's downward pull, you either have your legs up a wall, legs up a cabinet, a chair, a couch, a bed. Ideally, you get them as vertical as you can. And we feel that total health of circulation into our breathing muscles here. Let your eyes rest back into the skull. Body sensing breath. The inhale slow. Exhale completely. The key to inversions is to be in them for a five to 10 minutes if you're having your legs up. So that that gives the body enough time to move the blood from the extremities to the vital organs. So it's also nourishing for your organ function, draining the fluid retention in our legs, which happens from standing on our feet most of the day. And once they're not stood on, they can relax. So you can restore your body and your mind. When you're done, remove the sand, Bend your knees. If your feet are at a chair, simply pull the knees into the chest just like this and roll to one side and use your hands to bring you up to sitting. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to learn some basic alignment principles of warming up the legs with alignment in the chair, into the hip, into the spine, and then allowing your body to move into those simple inversions using a wall. I think it will be helpful for your overall circulation uh, to refresh the body and to balance your mind. Thank you.